How you going? Where are you? Oh, you're there. Okay, how you going? 1st of April 2020, April Fool's Day, but this uh, virus uh, thing, this lockdown thing's no fucking uh, joke, she's for real. So if you like hunting, if you like fishing, if you like diving, surfing, all that stuff we're not allowed to do right now, then uh, this song is definitely for you. Uh, if you're a snowflake, uh, someone who doesn't hunt or fish, or you're vegan or vegetarian and you just don't like me, then uh, don't watch this, but the rest of you good bastards, join in. Just written it. Take one, here we go. <laughs> We're not allowed to fish and we're not allowed to hunt This lockdown caper, it's a bit of a cunt And I'm high, I'm all alone, a girlfriend's just in a road Before old nuts feel like they will explode I'll lock me down, I'll lock us down Until this COVID just gone virus leaves town I'll lock us down, we'll lock us down until this COVID shit storm virus leaves town The list eggs are roaring at the time again Here we're all caged up like fucking battery hands And there's pigs in the hills Our dogs wanna hunt This lockdown caper It's a bit of a We'll lock us down We'll lock us down Until this COVID shit storm virus leaves town I'll lock us down I'll lock us down until this COVID shit door virus leaves town Can't even take me kayak out into the water Or walking with me rifle for a while goes to slaughter Not allowed for leisure Driving in me truck couch Wrecking me fucking head This fucking lockdown as a fuck I'll lock us down I'll lock us down Until this COVID shit door virus leaves town I'll lock us down Oh lock us down until this COVID shit the virus leaves town They can't spot and over toilet paper In the shop, guess we're safer in our homes Until the bloody madness stops Can't scratch our nose or touch diesel pumps Out of fear, doesn't really fucking matter Cause we're not driving anywhere Oh, lock us down Oh, lock us down Until the shit storm virus leaves town Oh, lock us down Oh, lock us down until this COVID shit storm virus leaves town Today's April Fool's Day and next month it is May We'll be out shooting ducks on an opening day Oh well four weeks become like four months I heard you in to say Stay at fucking home so this virus goes away I'll lock us down, I'll lock us down Until this COVID shit storm virus leaves town I'll lock us down, lock us down until this COVID shit storm virus leaves town There you go, bro. Cheers, brother. Yo. Oh, she hot. How you going, everybody? It's Saturday morning, and lockdown's been extended till Tuesday, I think, 11.59, they said. So, today, normally, we'd be going hunting in the forestry. Hey, Bruno, you wouldn't be coming. You'd be staying here guarding the farm. I thought I'd make a video for you. Since we're at home, we can't do much. We're actually going to go hunting this morning. We're going to go hunting with Clay and pace on the farm but it's going to be a little bit of different hunting it's one that the kids can watch they'll enjoy it too pace loves to hunt the rocking horse he hates the rocking horse and because normally it's Saturday he'd be going for a peak hunt today we're gonna to go and hunt that we're gonna mock it up for him and make it a bit of fun so we'll do that later on anyway I hope you enjoyed the intro song I did try to put it on Spotify but it got removed for bad language Bruno get out of there He's eating my herbs. He went out and just took a chunk out of my herbs. Get out of there, Bruno. Better put those inside. Yes, it got removed. So I'm going to try and reinstate that again. I just don't understand it. I don't understand it. The guidelines are so stuffed up. You see the most hideous stuff. And yes, it's got the C word in it. It's got the F word in it. But God, it's 2021. Can't we say that now? There's so many fucking snowflakes out there. Really ridiculous. They're just words. It's all about the intention, and the intention behind it was fun, not to hurt anybody, fun. So we are locked down, and the best thing we can do is stay locked down 
until it goes because I do understand that New South Wales people did silly things like one person had an engagement party when they weren't supposed to and one person went infected now the whole everybody at the party virtually has got it I've also heard that there's been four deaths in New South Wales and someone correct me if I'm wrong I hope I'm wrong but four deaths and these people have already had the vaccine can someone comment below? And is that is that bullshit? I, heard, I only heard it from another hunter, so don't know. Anyway, we're going to take you hunting. You enjoy your coffee. I'm on my fourth day of fasting, and I've got to tell you, I'm struggling. I did something stupid yesterday. I had a magnesium pill to, because I could feel my muscles cramping up a bit. Salt wasn't enough, and I did it on an empty stomach, of course, and I got diarrhea and flushed my electrolytes out. So I've got a headache, and I've drunk some water. I'm going to have some more, but I think I'm not going to see seven days. I think I'm going to probably knock it on the head and then do it in a couple of weeks again i think it's the thing to lead up to because seven days is brutal eh? Yeah, it's day handy. day four now and i feel like i've my throat cut you've done five days haven't you or four uh, days four and a half days yeah. yeah he did four and a half days that was involuntary he was up in the southern alps doing a long trek and he ran out of food mm. and he and he didn't die nope. he kept himself warm kept himself what in a tent Yep. Sleeping bag? Uh, here and there. Sometimes I couldn't put the tent up due to um, how, like, you know, frozen it was. So, how frozen it was? Yeah, just uh, carrying a brick, basically. Carrying a brick. He's lucky he didn't die of hypothermia. You could have. Could have, yeah. Did you get cold? Uh, yeah, I did have a couple moments where I was kind of just, like, like kind of fading in and out. Fading in and out's a bad sign, mate. Yeah. It's a bad sign. So if you're fading in and out, you're on your way to... Wanting to sleep is a real classic, and I've had that... So he, he's still here beside us, Daniel. How are you finding living with me so far, mate, honestly? At this point now, being like three months, four months in maybe now, it's actually been bloody enjoyable. Cool. Because it's a completely different change of life to um, what it was like in the city. And, you know, even Nelson in general, just the area, it's just a perfect place for guys like us who do what we do. Yep. So that's pretty much the, yeah, it's the best place to be for now. How are you finding your job, your new job as a bushman? Awesome, actually. I'm loving it now because um, it pays well and yeah. also being out in the bush, seeing like good scenery while you're working, you just can't be today. Yeah. And you don't even notice the day goes by. So yeah, bloody enjoyable, mate. That's good. So Daniel's fitting in really well here. He's doing the work. It's just um, a real process of learning how to do jobs you've never done before, like use a spade. He's from the city, from Auckland, never, had, never been on a spade. Now he's working with a spade every day. Planting trees, and from what your boss has told me, you're doing well. Yep, just that. Yeah, and I've taught him a few things, but we've got a lot more to do. We're going to do the chainsaw lesson. We'll do that during lockdown. A pace, and Daniel's enjoying the hunting too. Of course. Yeah, enjoying that. So it's actually going really well. He wanted to go in the military, but I've been trying to talk him into becoming a professional colour, because I think being a man in the hills with your own firearm and your own truck and everything. You can make a lot more money and you're your own boss. You're not told what to do all the time and you can end up going a lot further, but we'll see. How do you reckon, Pace? Right, mate, you stay right there. We're going to cook this up soon. We're going to do it on a spit. And right now, we're creating a scent trail. Looking good, bud. Looking good. Let's get some fresh scent on the other side. Well, Pace already chewed the tail off this than his last time he hunted it. He hates this rocking horse, he really does. Sorry, mate, but you're about to get uh, brutalised again. I think during lockdown it's really important to do these meaningless things like this that are just a bit of fun to entertain yourself. I think it goes a long way to keeping your sanity and stops you from getting bored and I encourage it. Hear what I was saying there Daniel? Yep, I heard that. Just saying that we need to do more meaningless things for a bit of fun. That's so true. we're getting a rocking horse hunting for pace. Creating something that's light-hearted and humorous can really be good for your health and I try to indulge in it as much as I can. And I get told off by my mates, I get comments like Oh, you're on the mushrooms again, or you've been smoking the electric broccoli. No, I'm very, very, my mind is very, very clear. And humour's, humour's important, we're human. That's where the word humour comes from, is human, doesn't it? 
it's important to have a bit of a belly laugh and, and make things a bit uh, silly sometimes because we're all going to end up with a pile of dust in the ground same as each other that's what life is we're all going to eventually like end up as being dead so why not have you laughs along the way this is a good place for a uh, pig in this case a rocking horse what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this around there like that and then around the branch so i can rock it and i can come back and i can go like this well, it makes the branch move a bit doesn't it i might need something a bit firmer put it under the solid branch maybe that works better i want it so it moves so you can see it moving Hmm, it's not really rocking, but hey, no, that'll be alright, that'll be alright, I'll just turn it a bit. I'll try this, oh no, that's, that's good, that's cool, excellent. When a dog hears that noise, it's like a little bell, it's actually the collar there, they know it's hunting time. No Bruno, you're not going mate, stay there buddy, it's okay buddy, stay there, he thinks he's going hunting too. No you're not son, come back in mate, we're going to keep you on the rope. Here we are, old dog. Stay there. You stay there. This is going on pace to make him think he's going for a hunt. You could already hear it, couldn't you? You could already hear it rattling. You know what time it is, don't you? Poor boy. Oh, well, mop pig hunting. Stay there. Stay there. Put this on you, mate. There's your collar. Yeah, there it goes. I didn't say jump down. Pace it back up. Pace come. Up here. Good boy. Well, let's put this on you. No, no. Pace, get back up here. Pace come. Up. Get up. Come on, good boy. Stay there. His breathing's already increased, he's already getting excited. Right mate, let's go do some hunting, eh? Where's that pig? Get up, come on, we're gonna find this track. See if we're gonna pick up the trail. It's over here, I don't even pick it up or not. I wanna see his nose go to the ground. It's probably gonna pick it up, I think I started dragging about over here, so. Good boy, where's it gone? There we go, now you're talking. Where's it gone, eh? Now he's got it, where's it gone, eh? Now he's on it, good boy. There we go, there's the trail, right where I went. Where's it going, eh? Where's that pig, eh? He's sniffing it. He's coming right down. He doesn't know where the horse is, but he's going straight down there. Look, he's right on the track. He's actually picking it up off the ground. He's going straight to that rocking horse. He's winding. He's seen it. He's seen it. Isn't <laughs> that what that is? What the man stick him, whack him and stack him. The old boy's hard and deep in the bracket. Dogs gotta work so hard to bring him back home. Jesus, that bastard is The bullshit stops. Hunters that yak too much don't catch a lot. The dogs gotta work even harder to bring him back home. So put them and stick him, whack them and stack him. The old boys hide and beat them. He's bailing. The dogs gotta work so hard to bring him back home. Baiting it up the other dogs and start barking. So. There's a hundred hunters at every town. He's not, he's bailing it. He's a hard up bailing dog here. Yeah. Hold him, hold him, give him face, good boy, good boy, good dog, hold him hard, hold him hard, hold him face, hold him, hold him, oh he's gonna, hold him, good boy, good boy, good boy. Is he gonna hold it? Is he gonna hold it? Oh, oh. That's it, he's a hard hold, oh you got him now. That's a good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy. He's having as much fun as we're pig on Good dog, good dog, good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy. Okay, he's on the ear, he's got the ear. Nice clean holding pace. Okay, we're gonna turn him over. No, hey, don't pull the ear off, mate. He's <laughs> gonna destroy it. Good dog. I got him, I got him, I got him, leave it. I got him, I got him, leave it. I got him. 
Oh, well, I haven't got my knife again. I've left my bloody knife behind. Oh, there he goes. That'll do. Sticking with that. There we go. <laughs> hey, get out of the guts. Good boy. Okay, that'll do. No, that'll do. Leave it, leave it. Leave it. Come off. Come off. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> That's our pig hunting today. It's the only pig hunting we can do during lockdown. He had just as much fun if it's a real pig. I, I, I shit you not. He's just as went up. In fact, it shows you that he's actually a baiting dog when he's by himself. Good boy. Okay, you leave it. Good dog. It's really important that you can call your dog off a pig. I normally can't. <laughs> that wasn't a pig. That's a rocking horse. Good boy. Okay, leave it. No, no, no more. That's enough. That's enough. Good dog. Okay, well, that's our pig honey. I hope you vegans and vegetarians uh, enjoyed that one. It's probably the only one you'll actually watch in mine. Okay, leave it. That's it. Leave it. Come off it. That's enough. Leave him. Leave it, Pace. Leave it. No, that's enough, mate. Leave it. Pace just came back to me with this in his mouth. I think he's gone out and destroyed it. What's the status of the rocking horse, bud? Oh, oh no. Got to go and check out our rocking horse. You little wanker. You weren't supposed to go back there. No, you weren't. Blood eagle style. How's horsey looking? Did you sound like a blood eagle? Yeah. Oh the no. Whole back's ripped oh over. no. Oh no. Pace, you you dirty holder. What have you done? Hey? That's our training rocking horse. Oh shit. Oh Daniel's put it back up here so he can't get it. Yeah, that is like a blood eagle. Oh no. Oh you fucker. Did you do that? Hey? You don't damage the meat, mate, you meat chewer. Oh, shit. Daniel's put up here so he can't get it. Well, we might better stitch him up, but didn't take long, did it, eh? Righto, come on, tie you up. I'm feeling a little bit disappointed in myself. I'm feeling a little bit low. I can see my neighbours spraying over there, so obviously you still have to work if you've got an orchard. I guess it's an essential item. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit just uh, deflated, uh, that was supposed to cheer me up, but really the problem is I'm not doing this fast very well. My hope was to do a seven day fast because once you get to the seventh day, it decreases your chance of redeveloping cancer by 70 to 80% being in the state of autophagy. But I'm only in my fourth day and it won't be day four until three o'clock this afternoon. It's midday now or one o'clock. So I think I'm going to have to start and make something to eat because I'm really... I'm feeling it right through my whole body. It's like, fuck, this is harder than I thought it was going to be. I think it's because I flushed my electrolytes out yesterday by doing a dumbass thing and having a magnesium. That's all it can be, because I was going fine. I can feel I'm struggling, so I'm going to eat. I'm disappointed in myself. I wasn't doing it to prove anything to anybody else other than... I was actually trying to prove anything to myself. I was just trying to get into a state of autophagy. So, think about when you break your fast, when you've been this long without food, and it is four days just about, is you want to do little bits and good nutrition so i'm going to do a little bit of kale i'm going to pick some kale in the garden over here right now the kale is horrible i don't enjoy eating it to tell you the truth but it's just so healthy it's one of the really super foods egg paste i'm going to take some of that there take a nice fresh tips off the top of that and we've got this other kale over here too this is actually uh, not so bad this one it looks worse but it's actually not too bad i want to get the tender stuff if you're going to eat this, I mean, I grow this for the ducks and the chickens as well, but it really is good. Another really good food is actually broccoli sprouts. What you doing down there, mate, eh? Are you trying to find a rat or something? I think we've got most of them, buddy. Hey, boy, what's that, eh? Yeah, you know what good food is, eh? You're not going to eat it. No, you don't like it, Pace. Pace, you don't eat that. You're not going to wash it. I actually wasn't going to show you guys this until I start my new channel. This is the knife I'm going to be using a lot on it. I've bought three Japanese knives. And this one here has got 64 layers of Damascus. Listen to the noise it makes when it comes out of the sheath. This is a magnetic sheath, so it keeps it in the right way. Listen to the sound of this. Oh, I've got to release that first. Yes, now we can do it. Hear that? It slides back in just to keep it perfectly, this wooden sheath. This is Japanese steel at its best. Actually, I think it might be Chinese steel. I think it might be from China, but made in Japan, the steel. Better focus on that. 
of that edge. I'll come a bit closer for you. Get it to focus. Really beautiful knife. It's actually a cleaver. And I've got it out because I want to chop this here. I've got to be so careful because it's razor, razor sharp. You don't want to stuff up with this one here. I want to go very careful. I'm still learning how to use it because being a new knife, it just cuts so well. Oh, that feels so good. And being careful not to run my knife across the board. I had it lifted then. If you're gonna run your knife across the board, other side, like that there, because you don't want to stuff your edge. This is factory sharp. I think we're just about done there. It looks pretty damn good to me. Pretty good. Full of goodness. Watching the finger on the knife there, clay. Comes with a sheath like this when you get it. And also the main sheath, this one here, but it also comes with this here. A little cleaning cloth. So we're gonna get all that off as much as we can. And then we give it a, a nice polish with this. That's not bad, is it? That's pretty good. Right back into here. And the lock. So the one side can go on, and that's the side there. It's locked in. Back into its special box. So and back into the knife drawer. There's my hand also that I've got and that one just broke off. I'm still waiting for ITM to give me my handles and I'm guessing with lockdown that that's going to be a long time. I've got two other knives in here. Sneak preview. That was a sashimi knife. I have to wait till I do a sashimi clip. Sneak preview. But you'll have to wait till I show those down the track. Out of the garden and I picked those this morning and that's the very last of our yams, not much. These little tomatoes can go in just whole. Four years ago, Mason Sparks sent me this beautiful shin knife. It's a kitchen knife, Damascus, and I was silly. I let other people use it, and I don't know if you can see that, but there's been damage on the blade. I spent quite a lot of time resurfacing that blade, and it's, it's sharp now, but it hasn't quite got the look it had. So with these yams, I'm just gonna do them very, very like this. There might be a bit of dirt on those. That won't bother me. We actually need to eat a little bit of dirt, believe it or not. It's going to cut them very, very fine. Like so. And this wee one here too, this tiny. It's got a lovely edge of this. We'll leave that like that. There's a bit of yam. And just a little bit of broccoli. Broccoli is considered a superfood. It's nice. What do they call them? It's a name for them. Same name as cauliflower. Is it Pirettes? No. Someone enlighten me. What is it called? Fl Flurex. There we go. Flurex. I'm pretty sure that's the right name for those. I'm going to go into the mix. We're going to saute all that together with these beautiful cherry tomatoes out of the glass house. Cherry bomb. New Zealand butter. New Zealand butter is probably one of the better butters in the world because it's from grass fed cattle. So you're high in omega 3. Apart from the taste, and the taste is fantastic. It stops your olive oil from burning. Very low heat. Liberating our kale into that. Now, yeah. cherry bomb tomatoes. And a little bit of water. Our chopped yam. Some nice broccoli. Salt. A good chef always cleans as he goes along. Hillary taught me that. And I still use it today. Two of my favourite ingredients for anything is this ginger and garlic. And these garlics, look at the size of that. Beautiful. I can't say I grew these ones myself. I did grow some, but I've run out of them, so it's made me think I have to grow a bigger patch because I use a lot of garlic. That's going to be enough for what you want today. And the easiest way to deal with garlic is to go just like this with your knife. Straight on, let's clean that knife first. Straight on top. Crack it open like that, and then you can get to it. And it also helps the garlic actually come out of the, the bulb. Once in the pan, it's that flavor come out because it's crushed. 
very fast to do. Beautiful garlic, beautiful. Smells very strong. So those ones there can go straight in the pan like that. Ginger. Safely say that that bit there is a little bit dark at the end. I love ginger for its taste. It's healing the gut. Well, everything's starting to infuse into itself. I don't have a lid for my pan, so I'm just going to put that over there. Some of you commented that the water was in the wrong place. That's why we have that. Please be green and not black on the inside. This came from New World in Motawaka and hopefully it's in good condition because they're not always. Ooh, not, mm, not bad, not fantastic either. I've seen a lot better and I've seen a lot worse. Nothing worse than getting an avocado that you can eat half of. It's got sort of yeah, I have to cut a bit out still. It wasn't quite as good as I was hoping. We got that much good avocado and we lost about just under a half. To do perfect eggs, you really need a tripod because doing it holding a camera in your hand and trying to get the water spinning enough is just about impossible. That second one actually isn't too bad. You might have got it there Clay, you might have got it mate. Mm. Lots of olive oil in those. Oh, it smells so good. I eat sauerkraut a lot. My 19 year old daughter Dola told me, Dad, get that Polish sauerkraut, it's five bucks. You can't buy cabbage and dice it up and do all that yourself for that price, and she's right. Just about, it. I mean, there's a lot of cabbage in here. And we grow cabbage ourselves, and we have made sauerkraut ourselves, but right now, while the cabbage is still in the garden, it's better to buy it. It's fermented. The gut loves it, tastes good. It's really nice to be having something fatty. God, I'm starting to salivate now. I'm just about ready to start eating and I'm dribbling. I don't want to eat too much to break my fast. Here's the first bit of my fast breaking in four days. That was a shock. What do you reckon, Pace? You reckon your master's got a good feed there, eh? You'd like to get into it. So if you fry up kale, it goes black like that, it's not burnt, although it probably had a bit long. Let's try a little bit with a bit of fish and some garlic to start with. What a way to break my fast. I just can't believe this tastes so good. It's just unbelievable. Sauteing those vegetables like that, and then with the, the sardine, that sardine, Oily, not for you, Pace. I haven't even tried the egg yet. These are eggs from my own chickens. And egg goes with fish, really does. Eggs cooked with salmon. I've never enjoyed kale so much. This kale and broccoli sauteed with the, the onion and the garlic and the tomatoes. I'd like to have more of this, but my first meal, I'm going to keep it small. I'm going to have dessert. Mmm. The garlic. That is just divine. Having not eaten for so long now, it was 50 hours yesterday at 3 o'clock, so you can add another 24 hours onto that now. For 75 hours without eating, no cheating, nothing. I did have a black coffee, 
I am going to do seven days. I'm going to do a, two, a few more two and three and four days and five days and get there a bit slower. Oh, my stomach's filling up very fast. This is just so good. Nothing left, sorry, buddy. Wild mint. Want some paste here? Hmm? Pine nuts, almonds, pecan nuts, walnuts. I don't recommend you buy this. I bought this and didn't read the packet and I only use it a little bit each time, it's the last bit. I am going to use it up because I can't afford to waste it, but the reason I don't recommend it is it is a keto uh, protein bar, but it contains palm oil. Palm oil is not good for you. There's only a tiny little bit in that, and to be honest, most people eat palm oil every day on something. Nutella is full of it. So I'm going to use this for the very last time, but it does taste good. Frozen blueberries. So good for you. I'm gonna put too many in there because I don't want to knock myself out of keto. I do have a little bit of sugar in them. There's all our nuts in. Let's put our chocolate protein. I want to give that a good stir up before I add my cream. The berries are gonna help this all set because they're frozen. Cream. And plenty of it. See our mint all cut up nicely. I'll put that over the top. Spread it round. Back in the fridge to set. You can leave it in there for about 10 minutes. Well, after a meal, I can feel myself settling, but also makes you tired after a meal. When you eat food, it takes you about 60% of the food's energy to digest it. 10 minutes later, and by now this will have set, pretty much. It does look pretty damn good, I must say. Mint, the sweet blueberry, and the nice cream, and the nuts all complement each other so much. That was my lockdown video today. I hope you guys are handling lockdown wherever you are, if you are in lockdown. And uh, be good. Can't be good. Try and be careful. I mean be careful out there because these are hard times, so be careful. See you later.